Taylor Swift, celebrated as a global pop sensation, currently finds herself basking in a period of unparalleled success and personal contentment. Her life has become a tapestry of glamorous outings with close friends, a flourishing romantic relationship with NFL star Travis Kelts, and the triumphant reception of her era's tour movie. It is indisputable that Taylor Swift stands at the zenith of both her career and personal life. Her achievements and joy are palpable. However, amidst this whirlwind of success, a recent dining experience has cast a shadow of scrutiny and criticism over Taylor Swift. The source of this newfound attention is the restaurant she chose for her rendezvous, a prominent establishment nestled in the heart of New York City. What sets this restaurant visit apart is the fact that it is owned by none other than Keith McNally, a well-known restaurateur. Yet, McNally's recent notoriety is not tied to his culinary endeavors. Instead, it revolves around his contentious remarks about Israel during a particularly turbulent period in the region. On what appeared to be an ordinary day, Taylor Swift emerged for a quiet dinner engagement in the company of her close friend, the remarkably talented musician Phoebe Bridgers. Adorned in her signature style, Taylor chose a brown Gucci sweater paired with comfortably chic baggy pants and stylish heeled boots. Her entrance into the renowned New York City establishment, Mineta Tavern, set in motion a series of events that would lead to unexpected public scrutiny and debate. The controversy began when Keith McNally shared a series of photographs on his official Instagram account. These images featured Taylor Swift posing amicably with the restaurant's chef. McNally had reposted these pictures from one of his colleagues, who took the opportunity to express their admiration for Taylor's kindness to the staff. She was noted for taking the time to click pictures with the restaurant's employees and, quite notably, her appreciation for the food. It was clear that she had an enjoyable time dining with Phoebe Bridgers. Keith McNally's recent history took a significant turn when his comments about the Israel-Hamas conflict stirred controversy. In the aftermath of Hamas's attacks on Israel, McNally expressed his perspective on social media with the statement, the more utterly repugnant. The facts, the greater the responsibility becomes to listen to the other side. This statement received vehement criticism from individuals within the hospitality industry, as well as patrons who was taken aback by his views. Many professionals and customers expressed their intent to sever their associations with McNally in light of his comments. Recognizing the negative consequences of his remarks, McNally eventually issued an apology. As Taylor Swift dined at Keith McNally's restaurant, the incident quickly triggered a wave of criticism on social media. Netizens, particularly on platforms like Twitter and Instagram, chastised Taylor Swift for not publicly addressing or condemning McNally's controversial statements regarding Israel. Some of the comments directed at Swift were undeniably harsh, with one user asserting, Taylor hates Jews, and another accusing her by saying, shame on Taylor Swift, people are dying in Israel and she is mocking them. A third user even went so far as to comment, she has a creepy beauty. This situation underscores the power of social media to amplify and polarize public opinions, often leading to intense scrutiny of individuals in the public eye. The situation exemplifies the challenges celebrities face in navigating a highly polarized world, where their actions are often magnified and analyzed in ways that can be both supportive and critical. The Taylor Swift dining incident serves as a reminder that even ordinary outings can become major talking points in the age of social media and instant connectivity. Taylor Swift's visit to Keith McNally's restaurant has ignited a conversation about the responsibilities and expectations of celebrities in addressing issues of public concern. It highlights the complexities of public image, political awareness, and personal choices in a world where even a simple dinner outing can become a focal point for discussion and debate. Well, folks, that concludes today's video. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. 
Thanks for watching, and until we meet again, bye.